Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Zack Snyder's Justice League. Today we're going to be talking about some scenes that potentially may be showing up in the Snyder Cut because these were deleted scenes and they were intended for the original cut of the film, but obviously that didn't go to fruition. So we're going to talk about all of this and more in this video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Snyder Cut videos as we head towards the film. So yeah, I'm going to be making more videos in regards to the Snyder Cut because I used to make Justice League videos when the film was coming out and after the film. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content and I will continue making them if you guys watch the stuff. So yeah, Zach has been talking about everything. He has been going around doing interviews with many YouTubers out there, big and small. And also they've been dropping new trailers. They dropped a new trailer on the Justice League third anniversary so there is a lot of hype around this new film coming out this new cut and so a while ago I made this video it was a Green Lantern video about the deleted scenes it was like three years ago now and it's one of my biggest videos on the channel and I wanted to do an update video on that because we know that we're getting literally basically everything and more in this new Snyder cut from what we got in Justice League so I wanted to go back specifically talk about Green Lantern and what we're going to see in the Snyder Cut but also at the end we're going to talk a bit more about Justice League 2 and the new additions to the Snyder Cut. Alright so in the Justice League theatrical version we saw a Green Lantern in the big battle where Darkseid was supposed to be and where we've been seeing Darkseid in that huge battle in the past. So whether that edition of the Green Lantern was actually in the original version that Zack Snyder intended or not. I guess it would be interesting to go back to that scene when we see it in the Snyder Cut and see if we're going to see like Dark Side versus Green Lantern because that could totally happen if that Green Lantern was Zack's idea. But what do we actually know? What do we know about the Lanterns and what was supposed to happen in the original version of Justice League that we never got? So we know from the dialogue in the original version, it was in one of the original trailers, so I'm guessing it's from Zack. Steppenwolf talks about how there's no lanterns here, there's no lanterns in the present day, and I'm presuming that stays the same and there probably isn't any lanterns in present day, but I reckon there were more lanterns in the past and there was actually some plans for Green Lanterns to be added in a post credit scene which we'll get to in just a minute. And so after every lantern dies or you know a lantern moves on but mainly dies, someone always replaces them and if we're talking about that original guy, that specific lantern in the battle, his ring went up and it obviously found a new host and you know in present day maybe they've all been killed off and Oa isn't a real thing and it doesn't exist anymore, however I'm sure at one point someone will get at least one ring and become a Green Lantern once again because they always find a host and so what are all these thousands of Green Lantern rings or hundreds doing up there on Oa but you know with no host so I'm sure someone's gonna take up the mantle pretty soon. And so in regards to the Green Lantern deleted scene, what were we originally going to see? Well it was said that plans were originally there for Kilowog and Tomar Ray to show up. That's what was going to happen in the past and obviously it never happened in the theatrical version of Justice League but considering there was plans for them to show up in a post credit scene. I'm pretty sure they're going to show up now because he is literally doing everything he intended and he's adding a lot more because that is his whole reason for doing the Snyder Cut is to finish what he started and to make it you know exactly as he want plus he's got the ability to add in stuff that he was going to do but then wasn't allowed to do apparently Steppenwolf was too scary for the theatrical version but now he can do whatever he wants so he can change it in whatever way he wants so there's lots of options for him and I've got a strong feeling that the Green Lanterns are going to show up because we keep on hearing rumours that they're going to show up in the DCEU and it's going to happen and there were plans for Kilowog and Tomar Ray to show up but for now it seems that Zack is keeping that pretty close to him he's revealed a lot in his videos his interviews and everything that he's been saying online like he even revealed a first look at Martian Manhunter the other day which I'm supposing he's going to include in the film because why would he show it and He's just not said anything in regards to anything regarding Green Lanterns yet. However, because that was the original plan, 
I'm pretty sure, and I think you guys should be pretty sure, that they're going to show up at some point. Okay, so at the time of Justice League, there was still a plan for a Green Lantern film to happen. That is not going on right now because they are planning to do the Green Lantern HBO Max show, which they're in development right now. And so will that somehow be related to the Snyder Cut? Because I think that may pull in some viewers considering they're both going to be on HBO Max. What happens if they introduce the Green Lanterns in Zack Snyder's Justice League and then they link it to them showing up in the Green Lantern show? Considering they are both on HBO Max, that would be a pretty valid theory. So I guess there may be some crossover in terms of the Green Lantern HBO Max show. Again, they've revealed some details in regards to who's going to show up. We know how Jordan isn't going to show up. And the fact that it's produced by Greg Berlanti and Mark Guggenheim is working on it. So it's more to do with the Arrowverse. But the fact of where it is may signal that there may be some sort of crossover or link to this film. So yeah, let's just move on to some other stuff that I want to talk about. So yeah, they talked about Martian Manhunter the other day. Zack revealed a first look. So it seems like that's happening. We're going to see a version version of Martian Manhunter show up in the DCEU for the first time that is very very exciting because he's a great character on Supergirl and now he's coming to the big screen very very excited for that also you have people like Iris West who got cut out of the original version because he's going to be showing up in the Snyder Cut and you've got new additions like Joker being added that was kind of one of the biggest surprises in regards to this whole development since they announced that it was coming to HBO Max because you weren't expecting Joker to show up but considering that he was able to do pretty much anything he wants because it's his own vision and they're fully supporting him HBO Max and Warner Brothers He's literally been able to add in new people that he literally never even intended to be in the original version of Justice League. Maybe he intended, say, Joker to show up in Justice League 2 or something. And I guess he gets to fulfill that now and we'll talk about Justice League 2 in just a minute. But yeah, so Joker is a new addition. You got lots of Cyborg that was cut out. Obviously, that was a main thing that they've been talking about recently. As a whole chunk of Cyborg's backstory and his kind of story in the film was cut out. And so other changes is he's just retooling the grade back to how he was originally doing it. Because if you remember the Comic-Con trailer and then the later trailers, they changed the grade completely. It was a completely different color. And the VFX, obviously, they've changed the look of Steppenwolf and they're altering lots of different things. So I think basically there's just a whole big retooling. There's going to be like two and a half hours more footage. And so it's going to be this whole big event where you have just everything DC happening all at once. He's been able to do whatever he wants, basically. And so let's move on to the final topic. And that is that Zack has actually got a Justice League 2 script. He has worked on it. He has finished it, I believe. And that was the original plan if Justice League was a success. He would go on to make Justice League 2 and it would kind of be, you know, what they did with Avengers. You had the Avengers and you have Avengers Age of Ultron and it goes on and on and on from there. So Justice League 2 was originally supposed to happen, but due to the box office success of Justice League, it basically got put in the can. So I don't know if we're going to do it and we're going to see it at any point, but Zack still has it. So there is a chance. However, I think this kind of four hour plus cut is basically Justice League plus extra stuff that maybe would have made it into Justice League 2 because Zack said that he doesn't think Justice League 2 will happen at any point, he's not expecting it. Maybe we'll see it at some point or maybe they do something with HBO Max rather than releasing it theatrically. I think considering how big this whole movement is and the fact that they're putting so much money into the Snyder Cut version of Justice League, I'm guessing there is actually a chance for them to actually make a Justice League 2 sometime in the future. It doesn't have to be straight away because they've got a lot of films planned. You've got Black Adam, you've got The Flash, and all those other films actually still in development, including Shazam 2, Aquaman 2. So they've got a lot going on. But I think in the future, maybe there is a chance. I'm not sure if Zack's going to do it, but I think at some point you're going to see a Justice League 2. But I think for the meantime, this version of Justice League is going to be kind of Justice League 1 plus a bit of Justice League 2 with all the other footage that they shot as extras. They added in some VFX shots. 
and kind of change the storyline a little bit. So, yeah, that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Do you think there is going to be Green Lanterns in the Snyder Cut? I believe that we're going to see it, and I think he's going to reveal something pretty soon, or he's going to keep it as a surprise, because we do know a big chunk about what is happening, because there's been lots of news and obviously a lot of focus on it. So we'll have to wait and see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any videos on Zack Snyder's Justice League, which is going to be coming out next year. So be on the lookout. We're going to cover this a bit more. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.